Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new for the first time, welcome. My name is Deasia, but you can call me D. And this is day three of my Slay Miss series where I'm uploading a different Christmas look every day until December 25th, period. And if you wanna see how I achieve this candy cane look, please continue on watching. Starting off with today's look, I'm going in with some colored brows. And for the base of that, I'm using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Zero. I'm just gonna align my eyebrows the way I would regularly do it if I was doing going in with my eyebrow pencil. So to match the theme, I wanna go in with some Candy King eyebrows. So I'm using the red eyeshadow from the, I think it is the Lisa Frank. Yes, the Lisa Frank Morph palette, and I'm just going to create lines that are, um, what do you call it, perpendicular, using school words, <laughs> that are perpendicular to each other, and I'm just going to create that all going down the eyebrow, if that makes sense. I just realized that perpendicular um, means like an X, I think, and don't parallel mean, meaning that they never touch. Well, whichever one, <laughs> which I meant the one where the lines don't touch, as you can clearly see. To clean up under my eyebrows, I'm using my matte concealer and the, um, the Studio Fix Concealer. Mm, concealer. <laughs> The Studio Fix Concealer in the shade NW40, and I'm gonna go up under my eyebrows as well as on top. It's fine to go on top of your eyebrows. I know a lot of people don't like to go on top, but all you have to do is put it out, and then you'll be fine. This is one of the most important parts of doing your makeup, is to blend the concealer out around your eyebrows. Do not walk outside with highlighter around your eyebrows because it's not cute and it's giving very much ghetto. To prime my eyes, I'm using that same white P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Zero. And I like to blend out my lid first and then um, after my lid, my lid, I cannot talk today. After my lid is blended out to my liking, that's when I move the rest of the product up into up under my eyebrow bone. Okay, so going back into that Lisa Frank Morph palette, I'm going to be using that red color. And that's the color that I'm going to go in with my crease to build up my crease. Oh, wait, never mind. I changed my mind. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition palette. And I'm using that shade right there, Man Eater. And that's what I'm going to go in with my shade. I mean, with my um, crease color, my bad eye. <laughs> So when I create my crease, I like to pat the eyeshadow in. One reason is because it makes for an easier, a easier clean up and it's not sloppy, it's neat, and it's easier to build another color on top of it when you just press the color in instead of like blending it out all wild and stuff. We are gonna blend it out just after we put down the next color. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Lisa Frank um, Morph palette again, and I'm using that same red shade, and I'm just going to pat that in and it um, right up under my brow bone, and um, I'm just going to like blend it out just to make it some type of gradient, some type of gradient instead of just having one bold color on my eye. Ooh, I 
I'm about to dive in back to my oh damn I, <laughs> I try to sing like back into my bass like dive in back into my bass okay just forget I even said just forget I was even that corny just 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 forget about it but I'm cutting my crease and I cut my crease different ways like but it just depends on how I'm feeling but this time I'm cutting my crease by section and um yeah you really want to take your time on this part because a messed up crease is not cute at all and it's giving you don't care about how you look when you go outside okay after you pet your base in you want to make sure you have a really smooth canvas to start off with like i do period and i'm gonna go in with my white eyeshadow from my bh cosmetics neutrals um, neutral shadows palette and I'm just gonna pat that all over my lid and another thing that you want to remember when you're using um, this P. Louise base is that you should pat your eyeshadow down never rub on top of the base um, always pat it in first especially when you just put it down Okay, so I'm going back in to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition palette with that red shade. I'm going to just shade the middle of my eyelid in and really just mess around with the colors and blend to blend um, that white and that burgundy together. So I'm going for a candy cane look on my eyelids. So, sorry, I'm eating my candy cane right now, actually. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go like red, white, red, white, red, white. I'm trying to do it as soft as possible so it can be like a, a soft blend. And so it can be, yeah, like what I'm seeing right now. Like, not too harsh because it is a really, really dark color up against a light color. I forgot I did end up switching the reds that I was using. So the first red that I went in, well not the first red, the second red that I went in in my transition from the Lisa Frank, that's what I'm using. That's why I went in on top of um, that burgundy red that I put down. Cause I don't know, I don't know. I, I like it better this way, definitely. I don't know why I ended up changing it, but I like it better this way. I'm using my red Pilouise base in the shade Rude Boy Red. And that's what I'm gonna do my um, eyeliner with. And yeah, I really look like a walking candy cane. Like, it's already coming together. I'm really that. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> Okay, so I lied again. Um, <laughs> I did not use the Boo Boy Red um, to do my eyeliner. I used that Too Faced um, Nutted Matte Red Lipstick in the shade Lady Ball. <laughs> That's my last time I'm gonna lie, my bad. I'm going in with my Pilouise base in the shade Room Zero. I'm going to create a line right on top of the eyeliner. So because being extra is my number one trait, I'm going to go in with a pattern <laughs> on top of my eyelid, like right on that line where I see me at. I'm going to go in with the red, the white, the red, and white. Like I want candy cane all throughout my eyelid, all throughout the eyeshadow, okay? And I don't know if I'm using the P. Louise base or the lipstick, I don't want to lie, but it looks like 
that I'm using the P. Louise base and the Rude Boy Red in this clip. And to make a more smoother transition from the white to the red, I went in with the white on top of the red at the end a little bit just to like combine those colors so it won't be so bold and not blended. So yeah. So yes, ma'am, we have to keep the look clean, period. So I'm going back in with the MAC concealer and I'm going to clean up under my liner to make it more clean. Yeah, and sharp. Ouch. <laughs> so it was real corny. <laughs> I did not know my wig was looking that bad, but it's gonna look better when I'm done with my makeup because I ain't do my hair yet. <laughs> First off, I definitely belong in somebody's Christmas candy store. Like, honestly. Look at that. Bomb. But I am carving out my um, candy cane with a light brown eyebrow pencil. I got this from a beauty supply store. Um, I don't know what the brand name is, but it's close to Bella Noches. Like the name sounds like Bella Noches, so I'm always calling it Bella Noches, but it's not the name. <laughs> so don't go try to look for that because you're not going to find it. So yeah, I'm just carving out my candy cane. And yes, I do have a look at the picture of a candy cane because, you know, I ain't seen a candy cane and I'm just really talking right now. Let me just shut up. So I did add some peppermints on my face too. That's the random circles that, that y'all see me drawing. And some of my candy canes was looking like socks. So I had to go in and redo some of those. But y'all can definitely see that my look was coming together to me because I was getting high. Hey, go girl. But um, yeah. So to fill in my candy canes, I'm going back, back, back into my Pilly Weeks base in the shape of zero, and that's what I'm going to use, period. Okay, so time to draw my candy canes, my candy canes, candy canes. Sorry, no. But yeah, I'm just drawing random lines with my candy cane on my candy canes. Um, I don't want it to be too small, so I'm drawing them big enough for it to represent a candy cane and not like where's Waddle's shirt. You know what I mean? So yeah, and I'm using my matte liquid lipstick in the shade Lady Balls from Too Faced. Okay, so when it came to the part where I had to fill in my peppermints, I completely forgot what a peppermint looked like. Like, I just forgot and I really didn't feel like looking up a picture because how my setup was. So, y'all just gonna see me drawing like a triangle at the top, a triangle at the bottom, and I shaded it in and that's just how I got my peppermint. <laughs> Now that I'm going back to look at how I drew my peppermints, I'm really mad because it's definitely giving like a toxic sign. You know how the toxic signs be like, don't go in or like, 
toxic material, toxic waste, that's what it's giving. So I don't like that. I don't like that. So once again, I like to be extra. So to add that extra, mm, <laughs> I'm going in with some um, black glitter from Flooded by Row and Moonlight. And that's what I'm going to put over the red, over all of the outer of um, my candies. Right now, I'm just using some lash glue. And then, yeah, I'm going to go right on top of that with some black glitter. Okay, so going back into my matte concealer, that's what I'm going to use to cover up my dark spots all around my face. Next, I'm going in with my foundation, my Juvia's Place foundation in the shade 400 Ethiopia. And I'm going in with that small brush that I use to clean up under my eyebrows. I'm going to outline all of the shapes first to make it easier to apply the foundation all over my face, period. To, to, mm. <laughs> to conceal up under my eyes, I'm using my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade um, 14. And I'm just putting it on my nose. Wait, I see where I put it at. That's where I put it at. When I'm blending out my concealer, I like to blend up under my eyes last because I really want that concealer to set in so it can get like dry, not so easy to move and I don't really know how to explain it but it's like, it's not like loose. You can just like, you don't have to do a whole lot to blend it out. You really just gotta pet it into your skin. That's what I'm trying to say. I hope that makes sense. I like to switch stuff up, you know, I like to switch it up. So instead of doing some regular contour today, I'm going with some color contour, period. And the color that I'm using is the red from Lisa Frank. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's looking so cute. Uh, I look like a walking candy cane. Mm -hmm. So of course, I'm going to do a candy cane on my lips because it's just giving candy cane all around, period. So yeah, I'm going in first with my pillow space in the shade Roma Zero. And then, um, yeah, I'm filling like my whole. I'm filling my whole lips with this first. So I'm using my um, Too Faced um, red lipstick. You know, the same shit I've been using this whole video. Um, and I was just drawing patterns, like just drawing red lines, white lines. I already do all my white, so I was just adding red lines in. And y'all, I could not tell y'all how annoying this lip was after the fact I was done. Like, I literally had to keep my lips without moving. Like, I had to not move my lips at all because you move your lips one time. It takes one time for you to move your lips wrong. And then you got white in your red area or red in your red area. Mm or red in your white area. Like it was just, it was just frustrating. So 
So this is the final look. You know, I'm looking like I walked straight off y'all tree. Period. And I didn't even because I don't even know where y'all live at. But it's giving a whole lot of it's giving a whole lot of Kenny King vibes. A whole lot. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of December, and I know that's possible because I know, I know that y'all be effing with my videos. I know y'all do. So don't, don't give me silent love. Just like the video and subscribe. Period. I'll see y'all guys next time. Love y'all.